Hello everyone, um, it's been a while hasn't it, I mean like a really long time since I've done a video, uh, sorry for uh, the lack of video, you know, um, yeah it's, uh, I've been struggling really, um, I've been struggling on what to do, uh, should I try and continue, blah blah blah, should I stop, um, and to be honest guys, I think this is the end of Four Sabres. I've spoken to a few guys I know, uh, that own Sabres, uh, they've said that they'll take off, I'll take on a lot of my parts, uh, that are left over, Stony. um, and yeah, it's, um, I think we've come to the end of Four Sabres. I'm not going to close the website. I'm not the website. The website is closed. I'm not going to. Um, I'm not going to close a YouTube channel. Uh, I might tidy it up. Because um, uh, I know the Xenopixel guide. Uh, quite a lot of people watch that, and it's quite helpful. Uh, also, the building the lightsaber videos, uh, they might not, they didn't get as many views as I had hoped, which is a shame. Uh, but they did get views, which is great. Um, amazing comments, so thank you all for the amazing comments on the lightsaber build videos. Um, but um, yeah, I mean, I think uh, I think that's the end, guys. Uh, I'm. Uh, I've got one last lightsaber, which I've literally just finished, so this is a custom build, it's the Fallen Prince with the other pommel, uh, he wanted it a bit longer, so this has now been finished, it's just the electronics that I need to, uh, need to do for him, uh, and then that's that. Reason for this video is I'm going to show you everything in my workshop, if you ever wanted to know how to make a lightsaber, what goes into it, what parts, uh, hopefully this video will be of use to you. Um, after this lightsaber has had the electronics done, it's going to get shipped out, and then everything that is worth anything to be sold will be up for sale on eBay, um, and the rest is going to be chucked in the bin, like literally in into the... Uh, into a skip um, sad really really sad 10 years uh, 10 years I've been trying to do it and I'm not gonna mince my words uh, the reason why Force Sabres has gone under is because the huge influx of mass-produced cheap shit lightsabers um, they are cheap for someone to for someone to buy a large number of the cheap lightsabers from China, the some of them are forty quid each. Some of the like really expensive ones, things that cost you two, three, four hundred quid, they're eighty quid to buy. So you're there, there's a markup, an easy markup of around two to three hundred percent on anything. Uh, so I I can't compete with that, um, and. I'm I'm not 34 anymore, you know. I'm I'm older now. I don't really have the energy to try and fight all these uh, drop shippers and uh, third-party resellers. I'm uh, I'm just going to enjoy having my weekends to myself and relaxing. So, yeah. Let's get on with the tour, shall we? So, first thing you're gonna need, computers. I have a double monitor set up here. Uh, one of the tips that I will give you right now, if I go to my Force Savers folder and go down to templates, I have all these, so I'll open this one. This is a paint file and basically when I make the Fallen for the emitter, which is these parts here, 
Uh, I'm just going to paint. I print this one off onto um, um, A4 label sheet. Stick it on the metal. Cut it out. Biggest tip I can give anybody. Easiest thing. If you want to have a consistency, if you want to make sure that you are doing the same pattern, the same cutout over and over again, so it's almost identical, design it on paint, print it off, cut it out. Best tip I could give anybody. Um, there are some things, so with this model, this was a Conan. Um, I just jotted down the lengths so I knew what they were. This is the emitter section for the God of War. Again, just cut out. Dragon Slayer, again, I write down this so I've got a record of what it is. Uh, these are the parts, so... Yeah, um, this is quite a good one. So this is for the Raven. There you got all the different specs, so I know what they are. So yeah, there we go. Lots of lots of uh, files, lots of things that I've had for many years since I started. Really, some of these are like from when I when I very first started. Obviously, I've got my other computer there. So if I want to go on the internet and if I want to be doing um, my different designs. I've got this, so I can be tinkering, tinkering with this while watching something or play music somewhere else. Uh, this took a very, very long time to design. So, yeah, so that's the computers. Uh, I have just a load of pens, different things, engraver. In here we've got RGB boards, RGB LEDs, tons and tons of these speaker grills to protect the speaker, um, Xenopixel boards, I will be putting them up for sale on Etsy, and they will be super cheap because I'm just getting rid of them, charging ports, switches, cables, uh, pins. So loads of stuff there. My awesome sword that I like. I didn't make that. That's uh, one I bought along with Aragon's sword, along with Stinger over there in the back. Um, so what we've got here is all this stuff is when I used to make models with sound. So all these are just like, um, these are just like LEDs that are going to the models without sound. Oh, this is a, a lightsaber I really liked, a design I made, never did anything with it, but I think it's quite cool. Uh, we then have uh, more cables, heat shrink, switches, more LEDs, so all that. Got all the old lightsabers up there. Um, those are loads of DC ports for the chargers. Oh, uh, let me think. Heat shrink to wrap it all up. This is a wrapping table. It's a complete mess at the moment. Um, down here, we've got loads of envelopes for posting things out. Loads of stuff in here. It's just, it's just a mess. Loads more heat shrink. Into the workshop. So we're going to start from left to right. So in the workshop, I have the uh, metal lathe this is one of my favorite things i use this for absolutely everything it's what helped me go from just making models with sound to making things like the god killer and so many other things um still works could do the bit of um, tinkering as in like you know just to maintenance and that sort of thing uh, that'll be going up for sale on ebay uh these are all different types of uh sandpaper so loads of sandpapers. Most probably my most expensive machine, the metal mill. Again, that's going to go up for sale on eBay. Uh, I will be giving it a clean. Um, so yeah, and this this is my meter saw. I bought this is the meter saw I bought. I actually bought that meter saw when I first started. When I first started doing anything, 
I bought that and that has worked flawlessly ever for 10 years flawlessly ever since I got it so love that machine I've got two belt sanders one with 60 grit one with 120 grit so I can get remove a lot of junk quickly with that smooth it off with that one so we've got those two they've been with me since I've started um, over here, I mean, we've got loads of different tins like uh, gas canisters, paints, uh, just more heat shrink over there. I've got my aircon there because my god, it gets warm in here. Up here, tons of metal, loads of metal. I'm going to be taking all that metal to the scrap lad. Uh, hopefully, get a little bit of money for it. Who knows? I'm, have I got something in my. Oh, sorry. Uh, so, hopefully, get some money back for that. Um, here we have, these are really expensive and I keep my super glue in them, uh, tons of, uh, tons and tons of drill bits, um, god, the, these are so hard to get, I used these when I made the, uh, the Jade, Marie Jade, Marie Jade, I don't know, um, and I used it for that. They were a nightmare to get. I've got loads of them and the cost of fortune. Uh, sanding paper. That's for the staffs. Uh, up here, the charge, you can wear charge me batteries for my uh, hand drill. Um, I'm just been doing some work because uh, I've got a whole 3D printing section here. So. Uh, starting off, we have the Eligu Saturn 8K, brilliant, absolutely amazing um, 3D printer. Never, never had a problem with it. Has worked flawlessly. I think I only have had one bad print with it out of countless prints, uh, and that was only because the FEP sheet had to got to the end of its life. Change the FEP sheet worked perfectly straight away. Uh, you may want to know why that blue thing there. In, uh, when it's very cold, the uh, resin is really, really thick because it's not good in cold temperatures. It likes to be around 20, 21 degrees, 20, 20 to 22 degrees. Um, so that actually warms up the tank, the, the vat, uh, and warms up all the resin, give it a bit of a mix, and it gets you to temperature. So even in winter, when it's very cold, I can still print without any problems. Uh, this is my Eligu Mars Pro. Uh, Mars 3 Pro uh, Beautiful little machine Worked flawlessly It did have a little problem with the uh, going up and down ones But uh, I just got rid of some of the gunk that was on there And it worked perfectly fine again uh, This is a um, uh, An ultrasonic cleaner Basically you put things in there It vibrates really fast And it cleans the resin parts when they come out uh, let me see if I can just move that because it's right in the way. Um, I didn't want to spend like a hundred pounds on um, some on a machine to cure my resin parts, so I built my own. And here we have it. So let me turn it all on. So. Um, Basically, uh, it's just a couple of, uh, I think, six inch acrylic discs, a couple of uh, plastic rods, and then I can put parts in there, parts on top. So I, I can cure huge amounts of parts, like 10, 15 parts on there, 10, 15 parts. So I can cure anywhere between like, maybe around 30 parts. So there's a lot of parts I can cure on that. Uh, and then that just goes, oops. And then when it's ready, that just goes around it. Uh, so we've got UV completely covering the whole thing from there to there, all the levels. Uh, and that cures it quite easily in about 10 minutes. Moving over, oh, we do have um, <coughs> lightsaber cases. Uh, so I've got quite a lot of these lightsaber cases i am going to be selling them really cheap the most probably going to be about 20 30 quid if you want one they're going to be on etsy i strongly suggest you get in there and buy them as soon as you can because once they're gone that's it 
Um, so yeah, you may want to get on that as fast as you can. Loads more white resin. That's just got loads of stuff in it for prototypes and all that other sort of stuff. Uh, on this side we have all the old tools, loads of tools, loads of different parts, tons of sandpaper, sand for the sanding belts. Like, I, I, I've not had to buy sanding belts for, since I started, because I bought so many when I started. I've not had to buy any more. And here we have my two drill presses. Love these guys. These guys have worked flawlessly uh, ever since I got them. Um, this one always has that uh, drill bit on because that's what I use it for all the all the different things uh, when I'm for the rivets. So that's basically the drill press for the rivets. This one does the uh, bits for the switches. So a 12 mil and then the stepper one as well for the charging port. Uh, again, you can just see in there that. So when I would be doing uh, aluminium hand welding, uh, I would use that to heat up the aluminium and then use a brazing rod. Uh, loads of tools up there and a security camera, which is really good. Uh, that's a knife I made years ago. I actually went to a real forge, had a block of uh, metal and that's a knife I made. I just never put a handle on it, but one day I might do. But I think I will do now, because I'm going to be going to the cabin. Well, getting rid of the workshop. Uh, not gone through many of these. I think this is like the third one I ever used in 10 years, so that's good. We have got tons and tons of rivets, loads of rivets, and just all the other bits and pieces. I mean, there's hundreds and hundreds of pounds there and parts. That's going to get binned. That's going to be wonderful. Uh, and then more rivets, thumb screws, uh, more thumb screws, all the little things there, the little D loops, the nicer D loops I had, they're going to get binned. And then above it we have just the general tools. I, I use the hammer a lot, um, I use the rivet thingy a lot. And I also use the curved uh, file a lot, uh, but I have other files there, We've got loads of clamps up here as well. Uh, these are for the angle grinder, which I did use quite a lot. And then over here to make sure that I can get everything nice and shiny, well, the, the drill, brilliant drills, absolutely. If you're wanting a really good drill, honestly, this has never let, I mean, this is for five years old now and it's a McAllister and it has never let me down it is it, the battery lasts for ages on it brilliant brilliant uh, hand drill uh, and I use this to uh, to polish things up with so yeah um, I think that's about everything. I don't think there's anything really else. There's just loads of boxes of parts and stuff. That's just all going to get binned. Uh, there's still quite a few blades down there. Just the hollow RGB blades, not near pixel ones. And then we're back into here, the very messy, untidy room. Uh, so, yeah. I think that is... Uh, Oh, I think that's everything. That's 10 years worth of collecting covered in 10-15 uh, minutes. Um, yeah, I mean, the I, I'm fairly sure the metal label was about, I think it was about £500-ish when I bought it brand new. It's worked its ass off. I mean, it's never let me... It, ha, it has literally never let me down once. It has always worked flawlessly. I didn't once in since I've had it, one time I did need to um, just retune it on the uh, thing that the drum that spins around. But once I did that, it's never faulted again. Um, and uh, I think the metal mill 
Uh, I think that was about a thousand pounds. They both weigh a ton, so there's going to be collection only for those. Um, oh, I'll show you my. Uh, I will show you this. So, like I said I've got the sword there, and I've got Stinger at the back, and that one there. But I also like helmets and masks. So I've got all these masks up here. I've got a medieval knight mask in the corner. Um, that's actually the Terminator 2 exos uh, not exoskeleton, but the, the skull that came out for the film. Iron Man helmet, Black Panther helmet, got some more helmets, got a Spartan warrior helmet there as well. So yeah, oh, and then as you've always, always seen, Captain America shield, Wonder Woman shield, Wolverine claws. So, yeah, oh. So that's uh, I think that's everything. There's, there's, just down there's a box with about six hundred speakers in it, which I'll be sending over to Stony. Um. Yeah, I mean, if you, I'm I'm going I'm retiring now from lightsabers. Um, but anybody out there that's wanting to get into it, you don't need all these tools. I when I started, uh, I started with a metal handsaw. Uh, I had a drill, which was a cable drill, one that was really old. So I had a cable drill. I had uh, some sandpaper. I did buy the rivets and I did buy the hand rivet thing, which was like 10, 15 pounds. Um, but I hand sanded all the parts, riveted, drilled all the holes by hand, riveted them all by hand, um, and then built the models without sound that way. Um, so you don't need fancy, it, it helps having good tools. Uh, but you don't need them. You can literally make all these things without without the big tools. Um, so, yeah. I wonder if I can change the view. No, I can't. So, yeah, the, going forward for the channel, obviously there won't be any building videos because I won't have a workshop anymore. Uh, once all this stuff's gone, um, it's just all got 90% of this is going in the skip. Uh, so once it's all gone, uh, this cabin will be turned into um, just a cabin, really. I might put a sofa in here. That's about it. Um, but yeah, I'm planning. I'm planning in a, a year or a couple of years to actually sell and move, uh, which is the other reason why this is coming to an end. So, um, yeah, I'm uh, I'm calling it a day now. Um, I would like to uh, change the channel name, um, maybe at some point in the future. Tidy up all the videos, yeah, just put relevant videos, so like uh, build videos will be on the channel, um, informative videos will be on the channel, so uh, yeah, if you unsubscribe, I understand, totally, totally get that, uh, to anyone who has subscribed, thank you so much, I, I really do appreciate it, um, it's a shame we never hit a thousand subs, um, but I think, uh, I think when I broke my ankle, that kind of... That's sort of the last nail in it. The last nail in the coffin, really, wasn't it? Um, but, yeah. It's been a good run. Um, and it's a shame. when uh, The reason I was able to get the cabin is because one year, the first year we started, which was 2019, January 2019, when I started doing this full-time, uh, we actually did about 50 grand in in pure profit. Um, and then in 2000, was it 2000 or 2022? Anyway, uh, we did really well. And then COVID happened. And then we just had uh, an explosion of these third party sellers and resellers. 
and then they just got bigger and bigger and bigger and people just want the sabers now they don't want to wait um and to be honest it's sad because if you go to a comic con you're just going to bump into people with the exact same lightsaber the only difference will be the price you paid someone someone will got it cheaper someone will got it more expensive will cost it more will they, it will have cost more for them um there's not going to be any uniqueness there's not going to be any individuality uh there's not going to be, you're not going to go to the lights um you know you won't be able to go to somebody and go oh my god what's that i've never seen one like that that's amazing oh i got this from uh a sabersmith there won't be many sabersmiths left it's just going to be these two companies in china um that dominated the market and uh pushed all the sabersmiths out of the way we've lost four or five late sabersmiths in the last couple of years i'm going now that's another one um and it's sad because there'll be nothing left, just the same thing that everybody has. Yeah, they look nice, do the job, but they all look the same. They're all, the, they're all identical lightsabers. All come off the same conveyor, uh, same CC machine. You know, they, may, they, they get purchased in big bulks from the companies for like 40 quid a lightsaber or... 80 quid for the really expensive lightsabers and then they sell that 80 quid lightsaber for 300 quid or more so yeah it's a shame maybe i should have gone to that uh uh that bandwagon um and joined them but i wanted to do handmade i didn't want to be the like all the rest so, yeah, I decided to go under instead. <laughs> but, yes, there we are, ladies and gentlemen. That is... Well, that's pretty much it. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen to the channel. It'll stay there. The channel will stay. I think uh, it, it would be really handy for anybody wanting to learn how to do lightsabers or make them. I think it would be really handy for them. Um, so I will leave it up there for a reference. I, I won't take it down. Uh, I might change it to Ben Plays or something. Because um, I would like to start doing some travel videos. You know, going on holiday, sh sharing the holiday experience with people. I don't know. At the moment, I'm still very tired with my work. So when I'm not working, I'm just very tired. And I'm not really wanting to do much. So, but anywho, we will see what happens. Again, thank you to everyone, uh, absolutely everyone who has stood by us, subscribed, uh, you're all diamonds. Um, I can never appreciate or show my appreciation to you guys enough. Um, so, yeah, uh, don't feel bad if you want to unsubscribe. Totally get it. I don't know when another video is going to be out. Uh, or what's going to happen to the channel apart from me tidied up and like I said um, but yeah all I would say is if you do know of uh, a soul sabersmith something like me try and support them don't go to big third party sellers they, they make tens of thousands of sales a year um, you know they're not going to miss your one order, but that one order would possibly keep someone being able to pay the bills. If, you, uh, if you've got a company that's a third-party seller um, or a reseller and they're selling, uh, I don't know, a thousand lightsabers a month at £400 a lightsaber and it costs them 40 quid for that lightsaber or 80 quid for that lightsaber... You know, they're making tens of thousands of pounds a month. They're not going to notice you not going to them. Um, but one Sabersmith, Kennedy Custom Props, things like that, they will notice that sale. And they'll be really grateful for that sale and appreciate it and appreciate you as a customer more than any massive company. So try and support the local business. They're, they're dying off fast. Um... I think that's all I've got to say, guys. 
it's a sad day. It's a sad, sad day. I've uh, I've been dealing with a lot of emotions today and yesterday, building that last hilt. And uh, the coming to the realization that that's it's done. So, but anywho, life goes on. Um, if somebody would be interested, hang on, let me swap the camera around. I do have the Star Killer. This is the first gen, so the chassis comes out, and it's an RGB. If somebody would be interested in that, uh, please feel free to drop me a message. This is the second gen chassis. First one and only one to be made, second gen or third gen. Uh, if somebody would be interested in that with one of the hilts or all the hilts, by all means, reach out. Uh, reach out to me and let me know. Uh, but be quick because... I don't know what's going to happen to them. <clears throat> and I do have all these up here as well. I better turn that around. I do have all these sabers up here as well. Uh, so if somebody is interested in those, I might put them on Etsy. They're, they're, they're not going to have any electronics in them. Uh, they might have electronics in them, but uh, if you are interested in them, then they will most probably pop onto Etsy. So anyway, may the force be with you guys. Uh, thank you all so much. It has been an honour. It has been a privilege to finally get to do something with the channel after having it for years and not doing anything. Um, it's been a great joy to show you what I have done and how I do things. Uh, and I will miss this. But it's time now for me to stop, I think. So, anyway, see you later, guys.